Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. It is Thursday, June 2nd. Time is just flying. So anyways, I wanted to come on here and talk about all of this mess that's going on with the Kardashians. They've been trending off and on for the past few weeks. I've just been sipping slow, child, okay? So right now, Kim Kardashian is currently trending all over Twitter. She's basically trending all over Twitter because of the latest interview that she did with the New York Times. If you guys do not know, Kim Kardashian is dropping her skincare line. And so Kim Kardashian is currently on a promo tour to promote this skincare line. The skincare line is called SKKN. And so what was very interesting about this situation is that up until now, nobody had seen what the skincare line looked like, but it has now been revealed. And so a lot of people are giving Kim Kardashian the side eye. They're saying that this skincare line looks very similar to the line that Lori Harvey dropped back in October. So let me read to you guys this article. It says, Kim Kardashian launched her new skincare line but fans think the Kardashian star stole the name from Lori Harvey, who has her own skincare company called, called SKN. Lori launched her skincare line in October. Kim announced her skincare line on June 1st. The brand will launch on the 21st, and the announcement comes after she removed West from her last name following the split from Kanye. In July 2021, it was revealed that Kim had a trademark on SKKN and locked up all the social media handles and website URLs. Not long after that, the Kardashian star was hit with the cease and desist trademark from Cindy Lunford's lawyer. They had sent a letter to Kim Kardashian's legal team as Cindy has been running SKKN+. Plus. From Brooklyn since 2018. According to its Instagram page, the company is a black-owned boutique and skincare studio with New York State licensed estheticians who offer custom facials and other skin-improving procedures. Many fans have taken Sydney's side and are accusing Kim of stealing from a black woman, something she's been accused of many times in the past. So right now, she's currently trending on social media. People are showing the receipts from the lawyer. People are also comparing, you know, Kim Kardashian's brand to Lori Harvey's brand as well. Y'all check this out. Now, if that's not bad enough, on top of her being accused of stealing from two black women... Now why she's going viral is because her interview has finally hit the mainstream. And she said something that was kind of disturbing in her New York Times interview. I'm going to read to you guys what she stated. Kim basically said, I'll try anything. The Kardashian star, age 41, told the New York Times in an interview published on Wednesday. If you told me that I literally had to eat poop every single day, every single day and I would look younger, I might. I just might. She joked. So, of course, people did not find that funny. Um, people like myself and many others found it very distasteful, you know, just disgusting. It lacked decorum. And, ma'am, how old are you? Nasty bitch. Are you five? You're a 41 year old woman talking about you would even entertain the idea of eating fecal matter? Like, bitch, are you for real? It is never that serious. Nasty bitch. What is wrong with aging gracefully? I don't get why all these Hollywood stars are so in competition with women who are 10, 15, 20 years younger than them. ...about competing with her sister for a Vogue cover. Oh, I probably would have killed, murdered Kendall myself to get the cover if it was like an option between the two of us. My desperation back in the day, she would have been buried before she got this cover. You can't be on top forever. At some point in time, it's okay to bow out gracefully. I'm not eating a damn thing to keep myself young. It's a blessing to grow old, okay? The only thing you should be eating is fresh fruits and vegetables and drinking plenty of water. You know what I'm saying? Taking vitamins. You should be ingesting healthy things into your body. Now, I don't even care if she's joking because this is not funny. Because the sad thing is she has a lot of followers and a lot of her followers are young. And if she's even joking like that, trust me, you'll be seeing somebody on TikTok attempting to do some nasty stuff like this. 
it just says a lot. And she comes off so vain and vapid that you would even consider that if it meant that you were going to stay young. Like, what are you, a vampire? Do you think that you're above aging and getting wrinkles and getting gray hair? Girl, miss me with the bullshit. Nasty bitch. And the thing is, with her quote unquote joking like that, I can't necessarily take that as a joke because the Kardashians, they just, I, I don't know what it is with them and body fluids, but I'm starting to give them the side eye. OK, let me take you all back to a few months ago when you had Courtney out here, you know, showing vials of blood and, you know, their best friend, Megan Fox, time my drinking machine gun, Kelly's blood. And they really been promoting this whole blood ritual thing. You know, now the articles on social media is is blood drinking in is blood the latest thing. And all of this is ritual magic. When you're talking about body fluids, anything with blood, semen, fecal matter, pee, that is all things that people use in magic. Now, if you guys don't know, six days ago, Courtney was trending for this mess. She basically claimed that her fertility doctor told her in order for her to get pregnant and, you know, get healthier, she needs to drink Travis Barker's C-U-M. I don't want to be vulgar because the algorithm is cum. Okay, she should drink four cups of that a day. Like she should drink some four times a day. And it's like, are you freaking serious? Like what what type of fertility doctor are y'all going to? Dr. Hoodoo? Like what are you talking about? I don't know any fertility doctor that would say drink that in order to get pregnant. That's not even how you get pregnant. Can't get pregnant through your stomach, ma'am. It has to go in the other way. Like this, I, I just don't understand the stuff that they promote and the things that they say. It's not funny. It's disgusting. And the thing is, they have a young fan base. And what I find very interesting is that this woman is the same woman who will cry tattoo tears when her son ran across something that was distasteful of her on Roblox. Remember, she made a huge deal. She was crying. She had Kanye go get the laptop from Ray J and WAC 100. She made this big hoopla of this. And it was a game that someone made of Roblox. And it said Kim's new sex tape. When you clicked on it, thank God he can't read yet. It's funny that she wants to keep her own children protected and in a bubble, which I can respect as a mother. That's what you're supposed to do. But for other people's children, y'all, y'all are sitting here joking about eating feces. This broad's on national television, on Hulu, on this struggle show, talking about drinking cum. And then late last night, she was trending because she was sitting there talking about when she met, you know, Pete Davidson. She just wanted to get with him because she heard that he had BD energy, which is big dick energy, and that she was DTF. It's like, dude, why are you talking like a 19-year-old chick from the Jersey Shore? You're a grown woman talking about DTF and BDE, big dick energy, down the fuck. You are a 41-year-old woman. At what point in time are you going to present yourself and act like your age? I wasn't even thinking like, oh my God, I'm going to be in a relationship with him. I was just thinking like, heard about this BDE, need to get out there. Like, I need to just like jumpstart my, I was just basically DTF. You're not Kylie or Kendall. I expect that type of talk from them because they're still in their 20s, not from a grown woman with a 10-year-old daughter and, a, and other children who are looking up to you and teenagers who are looking up to you. I don't know. They're just a trip, but I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these videos. Y'all go ahead and check this out. told me that the thing that would help it was drinking his <laughs> like four times a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love this doctor. The couple went on a sex-free cleanse, which apparently was extremely difficult for their fave behind-the-scenes bedroom activities. You can't have sex or you can't pleasure yourself. You so can't, of it. like, orgasm at all. Because we were like, what about oral sex? What about hands? What about feet? What about feet? Anything. <laughs> what Wait. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so you guys just watched those videos. So like I said... I feel like part of it is that they're trying to say anything outrageous to go viral and to basically promote the Hulu show. I don't think a lot of people are watching this Hulu show. I mean, people watch it on E! because you could just be flicking through the channel and you'll see the Kardashians. You might stop and watch. Well, Hulu, you have to literally be on Hulu. You have to make a conscious decision to hit the Hulu app and then search for their show. So I think they're not getting the ratings that they thought they were going to get. So at this point on Hulu, they're just trying to do anything. I even saw the scene where Kris Jenner and I believe it was Kendall, they're acting poor for a day. Oh, my God, I don't know how to pump my own gas. Oh, my God, is this how you buy groceries? It's like, come on. Y'all are not that far removed that y'all have never pumped your own gas. Kris Jenner, at one point in time, girl, you wasn't always rich. Stop.
Wait until you see Kylie and Chris try to pump gas. Aren't you supposed to turn the car? Oh wait, turn the car off. Thank you. You had it with the car on. Oh, well, we didn't blow up. That's the good news. Or go to the car wash. Roll up your window. This is like Disneyland. Or grocery shopping. Get a little chip? Yep, got it. Thank God you're here. We're approved. You have pumped your own gas in your damn 79 years of life, however old you are. You have pumped gas before. Kendall, you cannot be that spoiled and pampered that you have never even bought a sandwich, honey. Okay, like this is just silly. Like they're literally acting like they're poor and, and oblivious for a whole day. That's because this show is tanking. Nobody's checking for it. And I also think Kim is trying to low-key make Kanye, you know, jealous. But you know, Kanye, he's doing his own thing with his Kim Kardashian knockoff. So Kanye ain't paying her no mind. So I just find this whole situation a mess. But this is why she's currently trending. And I think people are just tired of her antics. Um, I do feel like her skincare line is very close to Lori Harvey's skincare line, in my personal opinion. I do think it's very similar from the packaging to the name but again this is not the first time that the kardashians have been accused of copying especially black women you know they have done this and they have been accused of this time and time again so i'm really not surprised but for me the packaging aside the fact that she was even hinting at you know willing to eat fecal matter to make herself younger it makes me think what is actually in this product Bitch, did you put little drops of sunshine? You know what I'm saying? Little drops of turd in there and mix it in? Like, now it makes me not want to try your product because, again, there's truth in every joke, okay? That's why people find comedians funny because there's a little bit of truth in every joke. So while she's trying to joke and, <laughs> you know, I would eat crap, uh, ma'am, did you mix crap in this bottle? Because I, I, I'm, not, I'm not down for it. You know what I'm saying? And the way they keep talking about ritual magic. And remember when they gave her Marilyn Monroe's hair? Remember when she was like, she was so happy that she got a lock of Marilyn Monroe's hair. And the first thing she said is she's going to do a voodoo ritual with this. We're a little strange, but that's who you're doing business with, right? So. <gasps> what is this? That is Marilyn's hair. So. <laughs> so. You can clone her. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my God, I'm literally going to do some crazy voodoo shit that I love <laughs> and I channel her. So Kim understands that side. She understands black magic and all that stuff because she wouldn't have said that when they gave her Marilyn Monroe's hair. So for her to be joking about, you know, eating body fluids and, and, the, and the sisters talking about drinking body fluids and they both have dabbled in blood in the past. I, I don't know what's in the product, ma'am. I'll pass. I'll stick to what I've been using on my skin, okay? I don't need my skin falling off. You know what I'm saying? Because Kim is on some weird shit. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation. Once again, concerning the Kardashians. How do you guys feel about this whole drama that the fans are saying online about her and Lori Harvey? Do you think Kim Kardashian copied Lori? And then do you guys feel like the black woman in Brooklyn even has a case? Because... Her company is called SKKN Plus, whereas Kim is SKKN, which is very, very similar. So let me know your thoughts on that. And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about the Kardashians constantly, you know, either talking about, you know, bodily fluids, dabbling in body fluids? Do you think that there's something deeper and more sinister with them saying things like this? Because that's not how normal 41-year-olds joke and talk. That is, that is not a conversation that would ever come to my mind or that I would ever joke about or even say to my friends. I don't know. I just find that just disgusting. And to say it in a publication, knowing that teenagers and you have such an impressionable fan base that may think that, oh, you know, maybe I can be forever young if I dig in the toilet. I just find this just, it's nauseating. I'm sorry. So let me know your thoughts, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys go ahead and leave a comment like the video, make sure you are still subscribed to this channel because y'all know YouTube loves to unsubscribe people, honey. So make sure that you're subscribed. Thank you guys once again for the support. Let me know your thoughts and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.